This may be one of the best OS tips I've ever made. And if you use Drupal in any of our training, you're not going to want to miss this one. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I want to give you amazing news. If you've used Dev Desktop in the past, a product from Acquia to do any of our training or even to do Drupal site development, well, then you probably know that it reached end of life. In fact, it reached end of life. And then this week, they actually stopped providing downloads for Drupal itself. Let me show you what I mean here. So you fire up Acquia's dev desktop. It reached end of life almost a year ago. And so I get that. But now when you click start from scratch, the distribution list is now gone. So this software is officially dead. Yes, you can still start with an existing Drupal site on my computer and even upload the latest version of Drupal to it and get it working. But honestly, you know what? It's just so much hassle for a PC user. Composer is broken. You've got all kinds of issues. You can't do a video in the media manager because the OEMBED is broken. It, the, the list just goes on and on. And over the past two years, it's just been problematic. Well, not anymore. I want to introduce you to a fantastic GitHub repository by a guy named Ofer Sha'al. Now, if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, please forgive me. Uh, reach out and tell me how to pronounce it right, and that would make me happy. He has built, based on DDEV and Gitpod, a literally one-click installation of Drupal that is completely browser-based and gives you Visual Studio Code built in. This is pretty remarkable. So here, if you go ahead and click here on this, it will set up Drupal with the Umami demo, which is not what we do in our training. So I forked it and I've created one that just sets up Drupal core out of the box, which is our typical starting place. You can see the links for both of these on the screen. So let me show you how it works. The first step is sign up for gitpod.io. Now, when you click on this link, it just takes you to Gitpod where you can continue with GitLab, GitHub, or Bitbucket. I have found that either GitLab or GitHub are a little bit easier to use. If you don't have accounts, when you click on one of these, it'll prompt you to sign up for one and then authorize the Gitpod app. It's really simple to do. If you do have an account, it just prompts you to log in. And I've already authorized it, so it takes me straight to my workspaces. Now, I don't actually set up any workspace from here. This is just a list of them. You'll bookmark this page because this is where you'll come back in order to get any site back up and running. Note that workspaces that are not pinned will be deleted after 14 days. So the first thing you want to do here is go in and pin any development area that you're working on. All right, so how do I get this to work then? Well, once again, you come back to the repository page and you click on this link, gitpod.io, which is then hashed into my branch of this particular repository. And all I did was make it so that it works with Drupal out of the box. But literally, you don't touch anything, you just let it go. Once it's done, you'll see what I mean. As soon as we see the actual container, I'm just going to fast forward the whole process. And we're done. So I timed it. That took three minutes and 35 seconds. Unbelievable. This sets up a Gitpod workspace, DDEV local, your database, your Drupal website, does all the installations for you. And then all you've got to do is copy this URL, 
paste it into a new window, and log in with, yeah, admin and admin. Now, a couple of things to note here. Number one, this is secure. Nobody can actually get to this site, even if they know the URL, because you have to be logged in to your GitHub repository to actually use it. So admin and admin is still okay. Number two, you have complete access to command line tools. Composer, Drush, it's all installed. And you may have seen that as it quickly went by in the sped up version of the installation. But yeah, how amazing is that? The only trick here is because you're running a DDEV local instance, you have to preface everything with DDEV and then the command. So DDEV drush CR, for instance. Composer works exactly the same way. You'll also note that this is, yeah, Visual Studio code right in the browser, which means you can do the entire Drupal 9 beginner course, for instance, at OS Training on your iPad. How cool is that? Because it's all browser-based and works fantastically well with Safari on a mobile device. And you can even open this in your desktop version of Visual Studio Code. You'll just follow the prompts. Now, you'll definitely need an extension to do this. I'm going to click on Extensions, and you'll note that there is a Git Pod Remote extension that you'll need to install in order to do this, as well as probably the GitHub pull requests and issues. But wow, how cool is this? I now have even the complete desktop version of Visual Studio Code available to update my web-based Drupal site. So if you've ever tried using Dev Desktop to do any of our courses online or any of our live training, you know what a pain it's been, especially over the last couple of years once they discontinued it. Finally, we have a solution. And I can't, I, I can't, I'm just so excited. I'm giddy. This is awesome. And again, just a huge shout out to Ofer Shal for doing this fantastic project. I know a lot of other people helped as well. And I know he's put, I would have no idea how many hours into this. So huge shout out to him. Another project of his is DrupalPod. Start Drupal contributions with one click. Uh, I can't tell you, these two things are such an amazing contribution to the Drupal community. Kudos to him and thanks to him for doing this. We become the beneficiaries. So if you're learning Drupal and you followed along with any of our courses, Ditch Dev Desktop doesn't work anymore. Get into Gitpod. It's seriously easy, as you saw. It's a click. Oh my goodness. How awesome is that? Whew. This has been a fun one. I've lost track of how many of these OS tips I've done. This is probably the most important one so far. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Like I said, this has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We produce a new video every week. We'd love to have you come along, subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you next time.